other day I saw this TED talk by Jane McGonigal who did her PhD at Berkeley and now works at the Institute for the Future and she's been designing games for about 10 years. I happen to know that you used to be an avid gamer as well. You're no longer into gaming these days, right? Because you don't have the time anymore, I presume. I'm theoretically into them, but in terms of practicality, I just don't have the time anymore. She, she showed us a picture of a guy who was on the verge of what she calls an epic win. She says that uh, that is when you discover that you can do a lot more than you ever thought is possible, and you're shocked to see what you're capable of. And she says that this is why gamers should uh, solve the world's problems. They should be able to do that because <laughs> gamers, and probably most of us, think that they're a lot more capable in games than they are in real life. And she says, this expression of being on the verge of an epic win is what we need to see on the faces of millions of problem solvers in the world. How do you feel mm -hmm. about that? I would love to see, I would love to see more of my colleagues, more scientists, more, more of the young scientists have that experience of an epic win. Um, you know, by her definition, certainly my career has been one of those where I take on more than I think I can handle and I'm astonished at what I'm capable of. And I, I think that that's, that should be part of science training is introducing students to the excitement of an epic win and the potential of, a, of an epic win. You know, it's funny, all of my graduate students are gamers. They're avid gamers. And it seems that I always attract avid gamers to my laboratory. You know, not intentionally. I never, it's not part of an interview process, but they are all very much into um, World of Warcraft, Halo, and they're constantly talking about it all the time and talking about their accomplishments. And I think that that probably has something to do with the risks that they're willing to take in the lab and the things that they're willing to think about in their research. 